currently in Sonora, Georgia, up here at an antique shop. Found some knives. Oh, nice. Now that's a nice. Oppenheimer, not Oppenheimer, that's uh, Jay Martini. Oppenheimer, I oh. think he was the nuclear bomb guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that wood one right there. Yeah, I'm about to see some of these. That's a Victorian Knox right there. Awesome. Hey, can you open this case for me if you don't mind? Yep, this key will. Oh. <laughs> you may do see. it. Oh. Which one? Let me figure out. It's the one with the knives in it. Yeah, I just got to figure out which key it is. Oh. I had it marked and then I... Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that works. All right, let's see you bring the key back, okay? I sure will. I appreciate you. Are you, you over doing... 18? Yes, ma'am. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit it. I can vouch for him because I'm 19. <laughs> Joe Camel. Joe Camel. Cutmaster. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Hey, I got... $25 on this. Oh, that's a bang and bang. Let's see if we can find any deals. It's way back here. Frost. Uh, yeah. Hey, well, that's everything. Oh, 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 you know, but it just Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, 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 yeah. That's coming home with me. $25. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. USA bone handle. That's the deal of the day right here now. $25 for that. Yes, sir. That one's coming home with me. Yes, sir. Right. 24. Yeah. That's what you do, lady. That's what I do. I've seen that one. It's down here. Have you trying to get a knife? He did. I did. He's the knife doctor. Shrey. What's she at right there? Isn't that Stonewall, Texas? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, Buy that too. I always look for for uh, she's. I think uh, it's all I want. Sometimes. <clears throat> Western. Western for lay. Hey guys. Picked it up for $25 and a sheath. We'll go over it when I get back home. And I'm going to clean it up too. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today, guys, we're going to clean this knife that I just found at an antique shop. It's a USA made camping knife. I paid $25 bucks for it up in Sonoy, Georgia. That's where they used to film The Walking Dead at. They got a museum up there. We had a ball. Me and some friends went in up there. And wasn't on, planning on filming or buying no knives or anything, but there's an antique shop up there, and lo and behold, they had some knives. So they were kind of pricey now, some, some of them were. But this one here was only $25. And uh, I'm going to have a ball cleaning this one up now. It's missing its bell, which I might have one that'll fit that. We're going to see. But as you can tell, it needs to be cleaned up pretty bad. 
It ain't in bad shape though. The, I'm thinking it was made during World War II because there's no brass on it at all. It's all steel pins, but listen to that snap. And, I'm, and I know it's all gonna come back. You got a broken tip on your punch blade here. So once I get this cleaned up, it should look like new money. I can tell right now it's gonna clean up good. And I paid $5 for the sheath. Not bad price. That's a shrade. That is a shrade sheath. So I'm gonna oil it down. It's in good shape. It really is. I'm gonna be looking out for a shrade fixed blade to fit this sheath. Sure am. Well, let's get to cleaning this thing up. I'm gonna hit it with my uh, fiber wheel over there on the uh, three inch bench grinder. It cleaned up pretty doggone good. I knew it would. I'm gonna get the wire brush out of my Dremel tool now and get all down in here and get where I couldn't get like right down in there. But look at that blade. Didn't it clean up good? This is a nice knife for 25 bucks. All right, clean this one. It's a good knife. You know, I don't know who who made these knives. It's Camillus, but uh, it only says made in the USA. Camillus made these knives, and uh, I think Imperial, and but I don't think this is Imperial. This is too good of a well-made knife. I think it's Camillus. see that tint it's like a light gray that's some good carbon steel and it blades sharp man it blades sharp matter of fact the day i ball bought it it come down on my, my finger see that it got me once i clean this i gotta do that tip right there and do that tip right here redo that flat tip screwdriver I don't know, it's pretty. Look at that bone. It's pretty in it. Yeah, it snaps. Mm -hmm. I don't know when's the last time this she saw oil. Soak it down. It's gonna soak it all up too. 
Okay, it's never dull time. Stuff that never disappoints. I'm gonna clean it up with this first and then we're gonna hit it with flits. And that ought to be enough. <laughs> that old knife I'm lucky I found this knife there wasn't that many to choose from and they were high on every one of them when I picked this one up I'm like yeah it's probably going to be about 60 bucks I looked at it, it was $25 this is a good buy all day long alright I'm fixing to go over there and repair this uh, punch blade here and the flat tip screwdriver you see that I'm going to make it flat Ain't nothing to it. Flips. Give it a good little polishing. I just so happen to have in my spare parts bin. I have a bell. If one slipped off of there, this one should slip on and we'll tap them pins a little bit to widen them out and the bell should be on there. I'm just gonna simply try to, look at that, it slipped right on there. Since we know this size, we're going to try to get this one on there first. This one I might have to file down a little bit to get on there. <laughs> camera and really force it. This might be fire or something now. I can't get it at that angle I need it. Go over there and tap it on both sides to widen them heads out. I don't need to do it too much because I don't want to get too too tight where it won't move. All right, here it is, guys. Bone handle, made in the USA camping knife and there's no brass so i'm thinking it was made around world war ii um but it's got a stamp on there made in the usa and i've done some research on these type of knives and this is what i found on allaboutpocketknives.com it says right here on all about pocket knives when it's just stamped usa it's knives made by kingston for the u.s army colonial 
a novelty knife company. Camillus, note that spiral punch, that's, that's a sure sign. And Camillus for Sears. But it also got down here what m this knife has, made in USA, is Camillus. Note the spiral punch, that's a sure sign. So if it, it don't have a spiral punch, but it's Camillus for Sears. So this is this knife is probably made by Camillus for Sears. So that's that's pretty cool. So ain't that pretty cool? It's probably made by Camillus, which is a company that I really like. They really used to make some good stuff. But it's got an old school can opener. Ain't that cool? And usually when you find them like this, they're broke. But this one's in good shape. And this is the flat tip screwdriver with the bottle opener. And you can see I redid that tip. It looks really good. And the punch blade here. I redid that tip. It was broke right there. But I didn't give it a real sharp point. That's about what you need right there. Um, but look at that bone, guys. It's beautiful. It cleaned up really, really good. I'll show you the inside, too. The inside was cruddy. Check that out. Ain't that cool? It's clean now. You know, when I went in there, like, you know, we went on a little road trip, uh, uh, us and some friends. Uh, we went to Sonoy, Georgia. And lo and behold, they had an antique shop there. And... Walked in there and asked them if they got any knives, and she pointed over to a glass cabinet. I didn't even plan on recording. I, I didn't, didn't uh, really plan on uh, hunt for knives, but there was an antique shop there, and uh, a lot of them knives were really overpriced. When I found this one, and I found this knife, I couldn't believe it was only 25 bucks. And I looked at it, and I'm like, man, this knife's in really good shape. It's going to clean up really good. All the blades are intact. I've seen that the uh, flat tip screwdriver and the uh, punch blade, it was kind of chipped up a little bit, but nothing that I can't fix. And uh, I'm like, this thing's coming home with me. And uh, it's really a good knife. I'm carrying it for a little while. Um, I'm gonna, I am going to touch it up on my work sharp sharpener but it, it's really sharp now but uh i put that bell on there it looked like it come with it you know it might be a little long for this knife but hey it's it's cool with me i love them i, I love this is my favorite knife to collect guys it's just you can do so much with these i, I mean it's a one size fits all knife in my opinion it's got your can opener your bottle opener flat tip screwdriver punch blade that's why i love victoria knife so much um i love camping knives well guys i hope y'all enjoyed the video today i certainly did I, I enjoyed finally getting this thing cleaned up and the sheath the sheath turned out good too i'm gonna put this in my sheath bin and uh, i'll be looking for sure and I'll be on the lookout for an old shred in need of a, a sheath now. I always buy sheaths, man. You never know when you're going to find a knife that'll just fit right down in there. And it, but it cleaned up good. It, it soaked all the oil up. I am going to put some uh, wax on there. It's over there. Um, so I am going to condition it more. But it cleaned up good. I took the little wire brush and got all that dirt off. It would look like it had been in mud. I don't never turn down a sheath, especially with the shrade on it, Camillus or Case or Old Timer. They come home with me. <laughs> but I love this, man. I love these knives. But thank y'all again, guys, for tuning in. Uh, I just want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, you're going to be like a good knife. Stay sharp.